whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch him take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position. He finds posture. He brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands the big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponents into the bottom of the ice. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock him. taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch land. Ooh. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Joy gets touched by that kick there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Just out of range with that right hook. Real sneaky body kick. Looping left hand misses the target. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, man, look at that picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Throws the right hand there. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with... Oh, useful trick right there to get the takedown out of the clinch. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, he's got his back now. 
Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Beautiful punch. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And they separate. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians kind of like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Joy His misses are out Straight right. How about those five minutes? While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Second round underway. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. What a punch. Ball combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at that switch knee, beautiful switch knee. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He loaded up with that right hand, too. So big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see to what a fantastic person. Great takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of this obvious edge and reach. Lands the right hand. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> I mean, how many can he take? Uh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Whiffs on the right hand. 
Dan, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this round? Switching stances here. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Beautiful kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Joy's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Oh. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take... Oh! He's out! Door. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, four seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge